Hi everyone! So this is what we are making today. We are making a balaclava. Okay, we are making this uh, beanie with this hole here in the middle and I'm gonna show you how I made this in the middle of the beanie. Okay, so I'm gonna remove that because it's summer in Australia and it's really hot here. Okay. <sighs> So to make this beanie, I used a uh, Templar yarn. You actually need a thicker yarn because um, we're gonna be using only one layer, okay? We can only make this beanie with one layer. And then we need this fur yarn just in case you wanna make this finish. I think it's a really nice finish for this beanie because it gives, uh, it makes your neck really warm for winter. It's a very wintry, kind of beanie okay we only be using one row of 100 grams of this of any wool yarn you want to choose but it just has to be thicker than eight ply okay like 10 maybe 12 ply this one's a 10 okay and i used one ball of this and just a little bit for this of this furry yarn to finish it that's all we need and I'll be using as well a crochet hook, a big hook to finish this um, with this furry yarn, okay? And all the rest quite easy. So I'm going to start working on my, my central machine is the 48 needles. You need the 48 needles one, otherwise the beanie uh, won't fit. Because this one's already stretching the max it can stretch. But uh, it fits my boyfriend, so it's like it will fit most of the people, okay? And uh, I'm going to start then working on the tubular mode and I'll be making 40 rows to start. And then after these 40 rows, I'm going to show you exactly on the video how I made this hole here, okay? So I created a new website that's called knitchingmachinepatterns.com if you want to go there and check all my patterns it has a few tutorials as well of how to make uh, different stuff using this machine I'm loving my machine I'm doing a lot of different stuff I have a lot a lot planned for this uh, next year so keep watching my videos make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment if you like this tutorial because I love your, co your when you guys comment on it and so this is a very fast project okay i made this beanie in around less than an hour so it's a good it's a really good christmas present as well because it's fast and you can still do make it before christmas if you have like even wool scraps or you know you can maybe change colors on the way so let's get started I have exactly 42 rows here and um, my last hook that's gonna grab the yarn is the white one and I'm going to remove this yarn from here make sure the last one grabs it and then I'm going to make um, 18 stitches without yarn okay and I have prepared here a waist yarn with my needle that came with the machine so I'm gonna go ahead and make from 0 to 18 without um, with no yarn when the chin is right on top here we stop and then um, so from 1 to 18, I'm going to remove with this needle and the waist yarn here. Okay. 
here I'm removing the two last ones. Make sure that all the one goes in. It's in there. Okay, make sure this one's in there. And then you can just leave this here. And now what we are going to do is we're gonna come back to where this tail is. And then we're gonna put the yarn underneath here. And then inside the thing. And we're gonna put in the panel mode for two rows only. So panel mode. And then we're gonna make make sure the yarn's underneath this part here. And then we can start making our next row on the panel mode this time. So we're gonna make two rows. One and two. And then here we're gonna cast on stitches again. So we're gonna put on the team mode again. Team mode. So it made two on the panel mode. And now we're gonna put on tubular mode again and I'm gonna cast the stitches again like I did before so this one in the, the next one in the front and then on the back on the front exactly like we did before because we need to put the stitches back to make the neck part of the part of the neck there we go. Now put the yarn after the last hook here, put the yarn inside, and then we're gonna work the, our next row. There. And then we're gonna work on the round again, like we normally do. And so we had 42 rows before. Now we are going to make 40 more, but it's actually 40 more for this part here. But it's actually as much as you want, as long as you want it to be. With 40 rows, it covers my neck and it goes all the way to the chest. So from 42 plus 40, I'm gonna have 82 at the end. After I finish my uh, 80 rows here. It's gonna turn to 80 soon. Let me just put. Finish the last stitch here. And then remove. And we're gonna uh, cast off the stitches the easiest way. One full row, no stitches. And then again, waist yarn with the tapestry needle that came with this machine. And we're gonna start removing the stitches from the bottom to from the top to the bottom, one by one. And then I'm gonna show you how our balaclava looks like. And then we're just gonna finish it off. So this was a very fast project for you guys. Remove all the stitches there and I'll come back with you to show you how I'm gonna finish this off. Just to show you guys, that's what I have right now. Not sure if it's showing everything, but what I did was I thought so. I, as you can see, this part's the last one that I made, and this part that I put on my neck is the first one because I thought it was too long for the top here. Just because I changed the yarn, I chose I, I'm using a yarn that's a bit thicker than the one I made the first test with, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna work this part that I last finished. I'm gonna close here and then this is gonna be the neck. I'm sweating so bad in Australia summer now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay guys so let's finish the rest of it and finish our 30 minutes balaclava so because i changed my mind and i'm gonna use the side where i finished on the top i'm going to have to remove this waste yarn and finish it off with the real yarn because I don't want this waste yarn showing on the top so I'm just gonna go through all the stitches the same way the same way this is and just removing the waste yarn as I go through them if you gonna use this same side here where you started all you do is pull this until it's closed on the top so then you have the top of the beanie this way okay you just pull it but because I'm going to use the bottom part which is a bit smaller and I like it longer on my neck here I'm going to just remove this waist yarn and put um, the white one back so I can pull it on the other side as well after finishing all of them going to just remove this yarn and then I'm going to do what you could have done on the top on the other side I'm just gonna pull it until it's closed like this that's just like making a beanie really um, and then just make a knot to finish it off so I'm gonna start here with the slip knot. I'm gonna start right on the corner here with a slip stitch. So put the hook through one of the stitches, pull the yarn back and pull it again. And then we're going to just the next stitch here and then inside each one of the knitted stitches so i'll be right here we just have to make sure it's not gonna be too tight again because we don't want this hole to be too tight see so i'm making the loop a bit open the first loop And then pulling through again this waste we are we're gonna be removing and that's the reason why as well I made this in another color because it's much easier to see when you're working on it so yeah I made this in many other tutorials so you guys probably already know what I'm doing here I'm going to be doing all the way around and then I'm gonna try it on before I remove the waste yarn so um, I know it's the right side size and I you know because sometimes you have to open because these loops are too small and it's gonna be too the hole is gonna be too small too tight and so um, just leave it leave the waste yarn there until you tried it on now that I finished and I tried and it worked good on me it actually worked perfect so I'm gonna remove this waste yarn here from the bottom and the one on the top we're gonna cut it so we can finish it off with a knot in there and then here on the other side we're gonna have to do the same thing unfortunately we're gonna have to make a knot on both sides and here that's the yarn that I finished, the crochet. I just have to finish it off all this trim. I wanna choose to show you how it looks like at the moment. The whole it's actually perfect for my face, it worked really well. I'm just gonna finish this to make sure I don't lose any stitches. Here at the bottom I'm gonna start with a slip stitch, a slip knot as well. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through all the bottom part with crochet. And I'm going to be starting 
make sure you pull that waist yarn so you know which one it is and you run through all the loops. I'm gonna put the hook through that first stitch and I'm going to make a um, slip stitch there and then in between them because I want this really open like that so it fits nice on my neck I'm going to make I think see he needs to be really open and so I'm going to make one chain in between so one slip stitch on the first stitch and then yarn over chain and then put the through the second stitch make sure that loop the first loop is a bit uh, loose so because we don't want that tied at the end and then another chain so I'm gonna be making chains in between my stitches and just let me at the end see if, see how tight it is if it's too tight don't remove that waist yarn because we're going to be removing this yarn again and try it on before so chain in the middle and then to see the stitches you can always pull here and then they you can see them better so do this all the way around and then try it on again and see if it fits well if it does, you can remove the waist yarn at the end. On my last stitch here, just so we don't leave a hole in the middle, I put the hook through underneath this loop, this loop here, and then inside my first um, single crochet there, yarn over, pull it through here, and here, and here and then finish it off I'm gonna try this see how it looks like I have a white one as well but I think this one matches better just on the neck here because um, with this because it's very simple you can add a few stitches even here like that designer does uh, hope is her name she she puts a few stitches with thick yarn, I think that will look cool here. And then I'm gonna try and add this and see how it looks like. I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna be making another row of, uh, of single crochets with this yarn all around the neck. Yeah, just to show you guys, because I think this is really cool actually. And I'm using a big hook, that's a 575 millimeters hook. Just to work easier with this yarn so if you don't have a hook set just grab one there's a link on my description for a hook set and so um, they're very big stitches so mm -hmm. just making sure always making sure it's not tied okay so all i'm doing here is put the hook through grab the stitch bring it back yarn over again pull through both loops of course you can't see because that's a very hairy yarn and but yeah that's what i'm doing so i'm i put my hook through where i had the chains because there's a little hole there so it's every two stitches i'm making one so this is how our beanie looks like at the end okay it fits perfectly i'm gonna try it on so you guys see it it fits really well. You can put on top of your nose or you can use it like this. And it covers all the neck here with this fur yarn. It's, a, it's very warm here on the neck. So as you can see, it's a bit long. So if you want to make less rows here, you can make less as well. So, but that's how it ends up. You can add, probably add a pom-pom here if you wanted to. Will look cool with a pom pom with the same color as well. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. It always helps me to go 
further on the searches and then that tutorial is gonna appear to, for more people. Thank you for watching.